Yo, what's good everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dark sampled trap beats for 21 Savage. It's going to be in the style of his track Red Rum, but of course with my own twist. So I'll be showing you where to find samples, how to flip them, mix them, and how to add the drums. And if you like the videos I've been putting out for you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can keep helping other producers too. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so to find samples, one of the best ways to do it is to use Tracklib, who are actually today's sponsor, so huge shout out to them. And Tracklib have over 100,000 original compositions, and they make it really easy to clear them. You don't have to worry about contacting labels, sending emails to artists, or anything. You do it all within the site, so it's a sick way to sample without any headache. When you're on the site, they have some really cool collections, which just spark some inspiration, so you can browse through these. You can go straight to the genres, or browse by artists, but what I always like to do is just go straight to tracks, and then I filter it by the release year to get something authentic and vintage. So let's just say like 1962, and then we'll go to 1988. Sometimes I'll narrow it down even further by either going to the song key or the genre, but then other times I just leave it open cause you never know what you're gonna find. And then from here, I just browse through some tracks. For this one, I wanted to find some vocals to flip. You like the sound of this? Mm. Like this will be kind of sick to flip. I actually saved this one earlier because I was looking for some opera style vocals. But to do the true test, I just wanted to pitch it up. We could test a loop and then add some drums. Ooh, see like this part here? This is the exact chopper one. Crazy. From there, all I had to do was click here to download it, and it only cost me one credit. And if you want 30 credits for yourself over a three day free trial, just click the link in the description. Okay, so I've dragged it into FL, and I'm just gonna start by trimming in the beginning. Tracklib gives me the BPM and key too, so I've just matched that. BPM is 139, but I wanna bring it up. So I'm gonna set this to stretch. I will bring this up to like 175, maybe 173. And then I like it pitched up, so I'm gonna pitch it up by like six. So yeah, this is the part I liked. So let's just start by taking this. I'm gonna hold Shift, Alt, and the mouse wheel just to bring that back. There we go. Then we can repeat this. Hmm. So what I'm looking for is the transients to sort of match up with the bars. It doesn't need to be perfect because obviously the tracks played more naturally, but you can see here it starts to go off a bit. Especially there. So I can check this to make sure stretch is on. I'm just going to hold alt click and drag. Shift and left click to make a cut there. And then we'll make this one unique. And we'll stretch this one out. So it'll be something like this. Yeah. And let's cut that. See how this sounds. Alright, now we'll set this to generic bleeding so there's no clicks. Press Ctrl and B to copy that a few times. And then at the end, what I could do is just repeat this. Just to add a bit of variation. All right, so this part sounding hard, but I want a B section too. So let's see what else I can find. There was one part with some pianos that sounded hard. I think it's from this. Mm. So that'd be sick for a verse where there's no vocals. So same thing again, we'll just make a cut there. And this is why I like doing things in the playlist rather than Fruity Slicer, just because you have a bit more control. So we'll cut it there. This is played purposely off, so it's gonna be a bit hard to add drums. So we'll highlight this part, then just consolidate this track because now what I can do is open it in Time Warper and then just bring these back so it's more in time. So transitions nice too. All right, sick. So I've got my two parts. I'm happy with that now. I'm just gonna go ahead and consolidate it one more time just to keep it clean. From here, we'll send it to a mixer. From here, I'm just gonna add an EQ. We'll just duck out some frequencies they don't like. Just a bit there. Next, I'm just adding a compressor to tame some of the peaks. I'm also using Ozone Imager just to make the whole sample wider. And then there has to be some reverb. And that might be it for the mixing, so not too much, but if you listen before. And then after. Just brings it to life a bit. 
Yeah. All right, cool. So from here, I think we could add the drums in. Let's go to my love and walk kit and we'll use the OG snare. Let's copy that. Turn the velocity up. Might even layer that, you know. Let's try this. Yeah, maybe that. Could grab the clout hi-hat too. And in some of these tracks, it's literally just a two-step pattern. But I want to add some rolls to it. I feel like we could spice it up. So yeah, I don't want to go too crazy. Could even repeat that. I think we're gonna use the spins for this one too. We just boost that up. We just need to work out the notes. this one up as well I just want to see what this sounds like pitched up one more To make it a bit more like red rum, we could add an open hat as well. We'll add this one. Mm. Let's copy that. And then we'll clone this one. And with this one, we're going to reverse it and we'll just trim it. And then bring the in knob up. So it's more reversed. We could add it like here. Copy that. Then I think just one perk at the end. Yeah, just simple. All right, so this part's sounding hard, but I just need to figure out the second half too. Cause yeah, we can keep the drums, but we need to switch up the 808. So we could split this pattern, just copy that a couple of times. And then yeah, we could change it up here. I think it's just B and C. Could change up the pattern too. Switch that up too. But I think in this part, we don't have the open hats, just so there's a bit of variation. I want to try one more thing too. So I'm thinking in the verse, like halfway through, I want to reintroduce the vocals. So I'm going to extract the stems. We'll just take the vocals and then we could process them a bit. Maybe add some half time just to switch it up. But yeah, I don't want it the same as the first part. So let's try half time. Could add some filter as well. Then on those vocals, we're just going to add some pancake just to separate them a bit more. Mm. Alright, that's sounding hard. So I just want one more section and then we can go back to the hook. So we'll cut the perk. Maybe cut the hats. The kick there. And this now. And then I think cut everything here.
Yeah, this will sound hard. And then it can just go back into there. And we just need one thing for the intro. So maybe we could take something from the original sample. Even just this intro, you know, just take that piano. We'll repeat this, see if this works. Let's see how it drops. That's kind of hard, you know. Then we pitch this one down an octave though, just to add more impact to the hook. And yeah, real simple arrangement. I think we just go straight into the hook here. We'll save the open hats for the second half. Could probably add them in again there. And then just copy that whole thing. Copy that one more time. And then just have this playing. And then we'll just fade it out. And the last thing is, I think we just need some cuts. Something like that. Let's have a listen from the beginning.